My name is Ian Golding. I'm the interim CIO at the Natural History Museum here in London. I'm working with colleagues at the museum to create the new digital twin technology vision that will help the museum to plan its technology infrastructure, programs and investments for the next few years up to the museum's 150th anniversary in 2031. The really interesting thing for me about digital twin technology is the convergence of operational and information technology. Um, what we've learned over the last couple of years working closely with our colleagues in the States is that increasingly those sorts of systems are moving on to IP-based networks. Um, so things that used to be quite proprietary and kind of separate to IT are now very much part of that. The museum will soon unveil its new strategy which will be very ambitious and technology will be key to delivery of the plans for that strategy. So we're very proud and privileged to work with amazing tech organisations such as Dell, Microsoft, Cisco and University of Salford and others to help achieve our technology ambitions too. The estate is 100,000 square metres. Within that there are 15,000 sensors measuring everything from temperature, vibration, light. Um, and those things are protecting the building, um, running things like the air conditioning, but it's also protecting our collections. So across the museum at the moment we've got uh, over 600 sensors, uh, all sensing various parameters, things like uh, relative humidity and temperature are the main two that we've been looking at, but we've also got monitors to check lux levels and UV levels, uh, vibration across the sites, flood monitoring for our off-site collections to ensure that we get somebody there quickly to check if there's any kind of flood damage to an area. We produce a vast amount of data from our 600 sensors. We also have an estates department who also produces a vast amount of data from their BMS system. So moving forward, we want to be able to join forces so we can use our data more effectively in the future for better results. Ideally, what we'd be looking at to do with the Internet of Things is try to link this into looking at not just our data set, but adding our data set to things like our estates BMS data sets, and also linking in our integrated pest management or IPM data into one whole front end screen that all of that data is immediately available. How that would be helpful for us is with regards to things like the BMS data, quickly we can now identify if we are having an issue with our environments by looking at what the BMS data is also doing, we can hopefully try and identify what's causing that problem and quickly try to rectify it between our own team and our estates team as well. The compressors that we're using are very large and they tend to create a lot of humidity inside the lines, which can cause breakdowns with the pneumatic system that we have. We have to monitor that very closely. This graph also gives us a historical record of when things go wrong, and we could use that data to actually predict when other faults may occur, and also tell if there's a steady increase in current, for instance. So having this data is very useful to all of us. Everything the museum does is, is basically centred around our core purpose, which is to protect our collection of, of 86 million specimens. Um, so understanding how we can use technology to transform our operations, how we can protect that collection going forward, is central to, to what we need to be doing in our vision. We've inherited from this wonderful building an aged building management system which we realised needed substantially upgraded and we also realised we needed to work closer with our uh, IT technology solutions partners and so, so several years ago we got together and we both realised we needed the same things which is better use of data, using that to create information, allow us to make better decisions about how we manage and maintain building which therefore protects the collections and maintains the public environment uh, as well. It's very easy to accumulate a whole raft of different systems, what we call our mandala of systems. We have about 80 uh, plus business systems that run different parts of what we do as a museum and actually over time what we found is that they're not necessarily equal to the sum of their parts. So the challenge is really to understand how we can pick particularly transformational technologies that can underpin various parts of our enterprise operations. Uh, with 10,000 sensors producing a million bits of information on temperature and humidity a day, uh, and from that we, we absolutely needed to, to realise we wanted to use that data to create information, to make decisions about protecting the collection, uh, to allow uh, information-focused maintenance uh, rather than purely um, preventative maintenance. The, the other key challenges we have are around addressing security. So how do you um, accommodate this proliferation of IoT devices on the network? So it's really good that we, we get to use um, the expertise of our partners, Cisco, to provide um, a secure network that can allow us to onboard devices, understand how they're being used, and also protect the data that's being proliferated by these devices. 
So ultimately, what is our vision? Um, what, what we've kind of described is an ecosystem of, of people, devices, objects, spaces that will allow us to understand what is going on in the museum at any one time. So you have like a dashboard view that gives you some context about how things affect other things. But also you, you get a historic view of what has happened over time. So you'll be able to pick up things like trends, change the way you operate, and ultimately be a more efficient, sustainable organisation.